Hi there, Physio Steve checking with you today. Talk about the shoulder and shoulder girdle health. Um, I know we had done a video a few months ago about this. Uh, we're going to add on and, and talk a little, about, a little bit more about it. So, we're thinking about the shoulder. As we know, it's connected with the clavicle, scapula, the shoulder blade in the back. Um, and we had talked about positioning uh, with poor posture earlier about this puts the shoulder at a disadvantage. And as soon as we open up the chest, bring the shoulder blades back we have more range of motion and, and more efficiency in the shoulder. So what we're gonna talk about today is just a little bit more in regards to that, I'll give you a few more tips. We'll go through reaching first. So generally we wanna make sure that our shoulder and shoulder blades stay in a good position. Down and back is usually key, neutral as we talked about. And then when we're reaching, we wanna make sure that we don't allow the shoulder blade to come up or forward too far. We wanna make sure we control that through the armpit and the scapula so when we're reaching, instead of allowing that to happen, we can be a little bit better with our posture and being strong through our shoulder blade, then we can control that and not allow that shoulder and shoulder blade to get pulled. Again, with reaching up, it's the same thing. Allow, instead of allowing that to happen, we can keep the shoulder blade down, not let the upper trap engage too much, and control that through our scapula and our armpit. That will be less shoulder pain and more efficient for, for that movement. So next thing, um, if you're exercising in the gym or exercising at home, we can give you a few tips on any rowing or pulling exercises. So generally, if we stand with good posture, if you're using bands or, or cables, any type of weight, we want to make sure when we start, neutral back, shoulder blades are, are back and down slightly, and then we're going to row and pull through that way with our elbows close to our body, um, not allowing those upper traps and those shoulders to hike up. You can see that is often um, a common issue that can happen. So shoulder blades back and down and pulling. Um, the last thing we'll talk about in regards to the shoulder and the shoulder girdle health is just posture throughout the day. Whether you're at home watching a movie or at work at your desk, um, sitting and posture can be a big issue with, with the shoulder. So generally thinking about if you're slouched, whether you're on your phone or on your computer, we want to make sure that throughout the day you change that position. So opening up the chest, again, neutralizing the back, keeping those shoulder blades back and down will help um, and not put as much stress through that upper part of the shoulder and the shoulder joint. So if you notice you're sitting this way or on your phone, just think about opening up, even do a couple of these rows um, to, to keep that shoulder healthy and to keep that shoulder blade back and down. And if you're sitting watching a movie, you find yourself slouching this way or that way, just think about neutralizing, getting nice and tall, open up the chest, and you'll notice that the shoulder will start to feel um, and sit in a better place. Physio Steve, signing off.